My name is Eric Dippenau, Artistic Director of the Cape Town Baroque Orchestra. We are recording several clips of Baroque music meant to be played at home, so for domestic music making situations. And we are doing this in the home of Cape Town based harpsichord and organ maker Bill Robson. So this series of videos that we recorded um, all focus on chamber music specifically, but not only chamber music, um, music that was meant to be played in a domestic situation. And it's something that in fact arose from the whole COVID-19 pandemic. People were stuck in their houses and, and of course our normal concert practice is very much concert based. So you're always on a stage or in a church in front of a relatively large audience. It made me think again about the fact that much of the music that we play was in fact meant to be played at home. So I kind of delved into my scores and books and, and came up with this series of repertoire that was specifically meant to be played at home. So some of the pieces come from uh, uh, one of Anna Magdalena Bach's notebooks. And we know that those notebooks were in, in fact almost like a, a summary of what the Bach family would have played at home. It was very much copied and meant for them to, to play together as a family. Some of the other pieces also was meant to be played at home, a relatively flexible and small scoring. So you could uh, use whoever you had over, some of your friends, um, if they played violins or flutes or whatever, you could get together and, and play the music together. So it was music meant for consumption at home. Bill Robson, harpsichord and baroque organ maker for many years, his house is a kind of open house situation for lovers of music and specifically lovers of early keyboard instruments. I'm an electronics engineer by training. I decided various reasons that, that I wanted a, a, a better job. And then I was already building myself a little spinet, so I finished that. And then someone ordered a spinet and 
one thing led to another and then, then the orchestra people came to me and said we, we have no one to repair violins, rehair bows, please, won't you learn how to do it? <laughs> and then I just never went back to electronics. I like to think of my instruments all around the world that are still used and will still be used and don't change. What's, what's already out of date stays out of date. <laughs> Bill has had for many years, every last Sunday of the month, a kind of amateur baroque group that meets here at four o'clock and drinks a glass of wine and, and sight reads music and so on. So in a way, this house conveys much of that meaning of domestic music making and much of the original intention of the music. Mm -hmm.